What's up, Gulf Breeze? Man, it is, I think it's Thursday. Man, this has been such an incredible week. I hope your week has been amazing. I really do. Like, I'm like, man, I hope you guys have the best weeks ever, every single time, every day. Wake up, why, why not? Why not wake up and have like the best day ever? And so crush your days, crush your weeks. And uh, man, I hope that, I do hope it's been an incredible week, but I wanna just take a few seconds, like less than four minutes, and let you know about some stuff coming up this weekend at our Gulf Breeze campus. I wanna make sure you're not only in the loop, you're in the know, but you are in the ready position, in the go position, because man, God is gonna do so much this weekend. And really, um, there's kind of one thing, one thing I want to focus on. Now, of course, we're closing out our series, Things Jesus Never Said. And of course, you should be bringing people with you. I'm so excited. Y'all be praying. We got my um, my sister-in-law's dad coming back this weekend. And uh, man, he has been every week asking, man, when can I come back to church? When can I come back? When are you going back to my sister-in-law? And uh, so they're coming back this weekend. He has such an incredible experience. But really, really one thing, one thing I want to focus on for this weekend. And that is, of course, you already know, heart for the house. Man, this is going to be an incredible opportunity for us to step up, to give above the tithe, right? Because there's tithes and there's offerings. And when God's word teaches about it, he says, man, hey, like, give your tithe, but the offerings are different. They're not the same. And this heart for the house is, 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 an, is an above in addition to our tithe. And here's why that's important, because God has called us. We are right in the middle of securing land right here in Gulf Breeze. You heard Pastor Tim talk about it, 19 acres. Man, it is bonkers. Um, but God, that's who God is. God does the impossible. God blows your mind. So you're like, God, just give us a couple of acres. God gives you like 20. And so that that's who he is. And this is our opportunity to step up and to give and to give sacrificially. I was sitting down having lunch with, um, with a buddy of mine yesterday and he's telling the story about how um, he got to sit, there's this girl, he, and my buddy, he owns like all these stores up in Milton. And one of the stores he owns is this, um, it's kind of like a, uh, it's a Mexican like, trinket store I don't know they, they sell like Mexican gifts and gifts from Mexico it's a real cool store and one of um, one of the one of the one of the ladies that works for him he uh, he got to take her daughter into that store and say hey buy whatever you want or just hey pick out whatever you want it's on me and so he was gonna man just just bless this little girl and so she picks out like 10 things and you know and and so he gets up to the register to pay now he 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 he, um, he owns the building that this store leases from, this, this this Mexican trinket treasure store. I don't know what it's called. But as he gets to the counter, the girl behind the counter says, no, you don't owe us anything. You do so much for us. Man, we're just, hey, this is, we, we got this covered. And I looked at him and I said, man, you cannot outgive God. And, and generosity generates what? It generates goodness. It's like a boomerang. When we're generous, it can't help but come back to us. And so this is our opportunity to step up and to uh, do it in a big way. And so we're believing God for like over $3 million to come in this weekend. Now, if that number scares you, awesome. Because uh, it should. That's what your goal should be. When you ask God for things, ask God for big things. God owns the cattle on a thousand hills. God owns the hills. God's pocketbook is not short his his checks do not you know get returned like that's who he is and so why not ask God for three million dollars why not God can do that in a second and he can use us to do that and so my wife and I we could not be more excited to give sacrificially to heart for the house and that is this weekend so if you're coming hey bring a gift in person um, or just give online if you're not able to make it this weekend that is okay momentumchurch.org um, slash heart for the house you want to be there uh, in person you don't want to miss this amazing um, offering time together it's going to be amazing I can't wait to see what God does through it and uh, I cannot wait to give my wife and I we're so excited and uh, it's going to be an amazing amazing weekend I cannot wait to see you there and yes you bet we will see you soon